Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. Now, we just did a video on this new bad boy right here, which is the carbine, and I'll make sure I get this right, CDEP, which is a dual cylinder padlock in one padlock. And I actually wanted to show the comparison to this one, but I didn't have it ready at the time, so I thought I'd do another quick little video and bring it out. So here's two that I made up. Uh, both are 50 mil padlocks, both made out of this aluminium type of strong composite. Okay, now, when you look at the two, there is quite a bit of a difference. And one of the differences is that one uses two lock bodies and one is using one lock body. And I wanted to just compare them spec for spec so that that way you can make your choice up about which one you would prefer to use in the scenario of you needing to use two keys for the one application. And I'm going to go through and use the keys and show you how they function. All right, so the Apis right here, we've got a shackle diameter of 9.41. And this is a 50 mil padlock because that was the only one I could get the parts for to make it up. And this shackle here is 7.83, which is closer to 8 mil, which is more common. Okay, now body size. Body size on this one here, we're talking about 65. This one here, we're talking about 50 by about 50. But you have to factor in that you need both of these on the actual bracket or on the thing, and whether or not both will fit or not. Like a shipping container sometimes has uh, enclosures or park gates have enclosures, so you sometimes won't be able to actually put this in and get this on the on the eye eyelet that you need to lock it into. So that's 140 mil by 50 mil, and the depth on this is about uh, 24 mil. The thickness on this one here is about 35 mil. Overall height, you're looking probably about 95 mil. So there's some pretty big differences depending on your application on where you're able to actually clip it onto. As far as rekeying these type of padlocks, well they both do take uh, commonly used cylinders. This one here takes the 530 cylinder, this one here takes the 570 actual um, actual plug. So if you wanted to, well actually sorry no, with the Abus ones uh, there is adapters so you can actually use PD cylinders and you can actually use the 570 plug on these as well with the standard inline six pin housing. If not you might be able to get from your manufacturer a figure eight type cylinder as well that might take the right cam. So you can put them on restricted but it's not as simple as just having a 530 cylinder and putting it in. Now to get my cylinder out on this side I have to take it apart and do this screw. To take my cylinder out on this one I have to just turn a key and I take this screw out and the cover will come off allowing me to have access to both cylinders at the same time. For this one here I have to do one cylinder on one side and then clip it back together, come through on the other side, give that a turn and do the same on this side as well. So slight difference there, both both of the time they're rekeyable. Now I'm going to go through and show you the cylinders, although I've told you the specs on a cylinder, I'm guessing there's going to be somebody out there that says 530, 530, 570, 580, what do you mean? Okay so this cylinder plug right here is what we call a 570 cylinder. This is just an inline six pin cylinder and I think the 12.5 mil um, you can rotate it all the way around, see the pins, and on the back here, we call it 570, it has the two cam screws which hold on the cam, which normally operates a mortise lock or so. This is in the eight figure eight housing. We don't use a lot of these in Australia, and this comes standard with the padlock. So if you didn't, uh, if you had something like Abloy, you would probably need to use a, a conversion kit to, from a PD cylinder, and I'll see if I have one of them handy lying around. Oh, I don't at the moment, but you probably need to need to use a conversion kit um, or likewise to get that figure eight shape in there, but it is doable. Uh, with this one here, let's turn this one here, let's take the screw out, which takes the cover off. Actually, we have to take that screw out, push that back so I can get my key because it's key retained. And then from there, if I pull one of these, both cylinders actually come out. So this is what we call a 530 cylinder, Lockwood 530 cylinder. So there it is there, once again, six pin in line, and it has the two triangles at the back of it. So these, as a pre-made item, you can get. You can get them for Abloy, um, MT5, 
any inline restricted system you can imagine they can all come out with this type of configuration the only one that doesn't that I know of and that would be multi-lock interactive in Australia I don't believe they have the 530 yet so okay so putting it back together I slide my cylinder in like so actually that's not sitting down flush so I just put the key and give it a wiggle pull out I'll do the same on this one put that in on an angle I like to put it down because it's very hard to get all the parts in there nice and nice and smoothly if you're doing it upside down then I put the key in turn it put the shackle back on tighten that up so as far as timing to change one of these it's really quick it's designed well to be a quick changing padlock okay and it's a lot smaller than any other as far as the abus uh, once again it's doable it's not too bad you're not pulling out springs and things like that the only time you're going to be messing messed up and mucking around with springs is when you've actually got to put one of these together now when I put it together I got that spring out of whack and it took me a good hour to put one together because I got no instructions with it and I had to kind of work out what goes where and how it works so to put one together you know first time round, this was a nightmare this was a, an absolute dream it was easy as and um, they both will do the job I mean don't get me wrong they both do give you dual access for two different types of keys and both uh, keying cylinders are quite usable and accessible in most profiles so I can't complain about that but just comparing apples to apples um, they're the two products my preference carbine because it's easier to key up it's most likely going to be cheaper I had to buy two padlocks here and this one's just the one so it's going to be cheaper there and as far as the restricted cylinders I know that the 570 is quite easy to get when you're talking these ones I can do if it's an inline 570 I'm okay if it's uh, got a PD configuration the cylinder then I can use an adapter kit and I'm okay there but then you're talking two adapter kits two PD cylinders two lock bodies and then two shackles then the time to put it together and that's one of the reasons I moved over when I was making up padlocks to a customer's key I'd move over to a padlock like this so I can pull the cylinder out quicker and it's all about time at the end of the day if um, if you can put it together quicker on the job well then that's easier for you and it's less time spent on the job so I find this one quicker than this one and that's why it's my preference size wise and all the rest that's a standard body these aren't so you know you're always going to have one side kind of exposed to the weather or up like this like a big barbell so yeah, it's, a, it's the ugly sheep in the family it definitely is when you compare one to the other but it is functional and does do a job so that's my uh, review apples to apples comparing them both double keyed padlocks leave your review down below what you think if you used one do you think there's a need for one if you like the design if you don't like the design um, and anything along those lines okay thanks for watching